Sledgy Poo, when are we getting married? As soon as I have the Energems. Well, what are you doing to get the Energems, Snookums? Well, I, I keep sending monsters to Earth, but they keep failing. Then it's time to send another monster. All right, Ice Age, get down to Earth and get me an Energem. As you command. <laughs> Oh man, three for the price of one. Ding, ding. All right. Oh, protect me! Excuse me, darling. Take a seat over there. Yeah. Dino Charger engage. Final strike. <laughs> Power Rangers. Oh no! We're getting out of here. <laughs> hey boys and girls, today's episode of Super Exciting Outrageous Toy Review featured the Power Rangers Dino Charge Red Ranger vs. Poissandra. This is a Walmart exclusive good vs. evil set that was available a little while ago and I finally found one so I could check out this awesome villain figure. The set includes a pretty standard Tyler the Red Ranger action figure. He comes with both the sword version and blaster version of his morpher weapon. He's got his shoulder pad there that's articulated. Head movement, shoulder articulation, elbow joints, glove swivels, hips, knees, and swivels at the boots. Nicely articulated. Nicely painted, but this was a pretty standard Power Rangers Dino Charge action figure. The real reason people were after this set was for the Poissandra figure. She wasn't a major player in the sense that she was a monster that, that the Rangers fought a lot. She was Sledge's girlfriend and was always kind of driving things behind the scenes, causing drama between the monsters and forcing Sledge's hand into doing some of this stuff. She's a great looking character, really goofy for a bad guy. She's got this goofy heart shaped head and these hearts on the backs of her shoulders. For articulation, she has a head that can spin all the way around. She has shoulder joints that move up and down. They are hindered by the hearts on her back, only goes so far. She has a rotation point at the wrists there, but it's not super, um, not super well articulated. In fact, I think it might just be the yellow piece actually on top of the pink, and it just twists the, the pink plastic underneath. It's, I don't, I'm not sure if it's actually really articulation joint. That might actually wear it out. She's got hip joints, which are hindered by her heart-shaped skirt there, uh, and she's got some knee joints with those big heart knee pads on. So she's not the best figure, but the monsters always suffer from worse articulation than the heroes in this line, and she's got her hands out perfect for giving out hugs. Oh, Red Ranger! Hee 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 hee! Poissandra has some nice paint applications on her face there, but most of the other details on her are lacking paint. She's got some, you know, ribbing and wiring and things like that, and they're just kind of left plain. This is one of those sets where it's kind of a shame to get a repeat of the Red Ranger. You know, you probably already own him in more than one mode, and now to get Poissandra, you got to pick him up again. But that tends to be the way we get these weird characters that they don't think are going to sell that well, uh, like a Poissandra figure you know, they'll pack her in with somebody else. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos.